Hi, it's Emma Nago. So I'm doing this makeup look today and this is my final Halloween look so happy Halloween so yeah I'm doing a look today inspired by Alex from A Clockwork Orange this was actually recom recommended this was requested by one of my subscribers and I thought it was a great idea and actually this is perfect if you're going to do like a last minute costume because the costume is super easy and the makeup is also super easy it might look a bit fancy because of like the false last game over here but it's so easy. So please don't mind my hat, okay? I Okay, let me tell you guys a story. So I bought an actual hat that looks like the hat that Alex is wearing in the movie. I bought that on eBay and it shipped on the 30th of September and today it's the 31st of October and it still hasn't arrived. So yeah, I, I can't wait any longer because today is the last day. So instead for my hat, I'm using just this like winter hat. It's actually my mom's. So it is not anything close to what Alex is wearing, but it's the best I can do. But yeah, I thought I would do this because it's super, super quick. And the costume is really simple. Um, you just want to wear some white pants, a white button-up shirt, and then um, a black hat like this. And then for the makeup, it's also so easy. It's literally just eyeliner, falsies, and lipstick. So it really doesn't take long. So I really think this is like the perfect last minute um, Halloween costume. So yeah, this was requested by a subscriber. Um, and yeah, I thought it was a great idea. Back when I watched A Clockwork Orange, which was last year, I think. I remember I thought it was so scary. Last year I was like on a Stanley Kubrick kick, so I literally watched all of his movies. So I also watched A Clockwork Orange and I thought it was scary but great. But yeah, the main character Alex, his signature look is like a false lash along his um, lower lash line. So that's what I also did and I just amped it up a bit with some um, eyeliner and an orange lip because the movie is called A Clockwork Orange and yeah I think this look is so much fun I really liked this look because it's not super scary but it's still like bad guy you know and I have been doing like a lot of pretty looks and a lot of like good character looks so it was fun to do something you know more badass but yeah I think that's all I have to say so yeah thank you guys so much for watching happy Halloween and please thumbs up this video if you like it and remember to watch in high definition and here comes the tutorial okay you guys so i start out with my foundation already down as well as my contour my blush my highlight my eyebrows and an eyelid primer and i'm not showing all of this in this video just because then you guys can really do whatever you want you can do your foundation however you want you can skip foundation you can skip you know whatever so everything i have applied to my face is not really necessary for the look so i just thought we should continue here with the eyes so of course for my eyeliner i'm going to use elf liquid liner in black and i'm just going to do a simple winged liner So I do a look like this and now comes the hard part which is matching up the other eye. So that looks about good to me. I might just clean this line up a tiny bit. Just with my e.l.f. makeup remover pen. And then just go back in and draw it on again. And you guys, I just realized that I forgot to apply my eye drops. So let me just do that real quick. So that's a little better. That took away most of the redness in my eyes. So now to line my lower lash line, I'm going to use my favorite black eyeshadow, which is Pamber by Wet n Wild. And I'm just using a tiny little brush from ILF. I'm just applying this right 
um, along my lower left spine. So now I'm curling my eyelashes. And I'm going to be applying Estee Lauder Black Mascara. And I'm going to be applying this to top and bottom lashes on both eyes. And I am applying two coats to my upper lashes. And I'm just going to go in with a Q-tip and remove any little smudges. And now I'm going in with the mascara on the lower lashes. So now I'm going to do the signature Alex, um, you know, trademark, which is the falsies on the lower lash line. I'm going to be using number 5 from Red Cherry and I am going to cut these up a little bit because the lashes that Alex has on they are very like um, they have like spaces in between so I don't know if you guys can tell that much but I did cut these up a little bit and I'm just going to apply it So that's what the faulty looks like so now I'm going to chop up the other one and put it on the lower left line <laughs> and you guys I really need to trim this so I'm just going to trim a little bit off from the outer edge so I think maybe this much so I just applied my falsy right on top of the black line that I did before and now I'm just going to take my liquid liner again and do a little wing on uh, my lower left line So I just added my line on the bottom and now to finish off the eyes I'm going to use NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk on the waterline. It's a very appropriate name for this look, don't you think? Milk? So on the lips you could really do whatever you want but since the movie is called A Clockwork Orange I think it's very appropriate to wear a orange lipstick. So I'm going to use this super bright neon orange liquid liquid lipstick by Born Pretty Store. This is in the color 37. So while my liquid lipstick dries, I'm just going to go over the liner on top. So I know it's ridiculous that I'm holding on to this, but I just can't let it go um, because I did order one online, but of course it takes ages to get to Denmark and I don't have any other setting sprays at the moment. So I'm really, I'm going, I'm going to try this, okay? So there was a little bit left. Incredible. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. So thank you guys so much for watching, thank you for all the love and support you guys have showed me on my Halloween videos, they have been really fun to do. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in November, um, and happy Halloween, and remember to take care, and bye bye!